Hi and welcome to Outwell. In this film I'm going to talk you through the features and show you how to assemble our Martinique cupboard. You can see here that the cupboard comes in this handy storage bag making it easy to store away and to carry. So what we'll do is we'll just take it out of here and show you how to assemble it. From here, the cupboard is very simple to put together. We just take this main section, and what we want to do is take the two side legs and just pull them around, like so, into position. And then from here, we can stand it up, and we can see that you're left with some Velcro straps, which just need to be attached on the opposite side. Easiest way to do that is just to pull one side towards the other, and fasten the strap in place. Just while we're here, we can point out that this cupboard has got adjustable feet on here. Each one of these can be unscrewed like so, just so that if there's uneven surface, this will sit nice and flat. So from here, we can just turn it around into the correct position and you'll see already it's starting to take shape. What we can then do, if I just turn this around so you can see, is open up the doors here. And inside, you'll see that we have these pre-attached shelves, which have got zips in the middle. So if you want to put the shelving units in, we just gotta make sure that these are all zipped, like so. And then all it takes is to slot the shelves into place. So we can now see that once these shelves are in place, they're nice and sturdy and certainly easy to put together. And then for the door, we can just roll that away and that can be Velcroed closed at one side, just like the one next to us here. Once that's done, we can then do the other side. But what I'm gonna do here is just point out what you can do with this which is just to open up the shelves like so. And if you choose, you can have a couple of shelves at the bottom, just like this. And the reason I've done this is because at the top, we have a hanging bar here and a hanging bar here. So if you wanted to hang clothes, again, as we've done in the one next to us here, then you do have that option, or you have the option to have eight shelves in total here. Now in terms of finishing off the assembly, what you need is the short pole here. And what we do with that is just pop that through the sleeve at the top of the cupboard. And what that does is it just increases the overall stability of the structure of the cupboard. Once that metal bar is in place, we take the lid and we just pop that on top. This is really easy to do, because just on the inside here, you'll find that we have four plastic cups, which just sit on top of the frame of the cupboard. So just push that down to get it into position on all four corners. Then once that's done, you'll find on the side of the lid that there is a metal hook that just can be put in place just to keep that there. And there's one on the other side to do as well. Once that's done, that is the cupboard uh, assembled. And we'll just show you some of the features on here. So we have the uh, accessory hooks on the side here, and there's also a side storage pocket here. 
Inside the wardrobe, I've already talked about all these shelving units and um, the hanging rails that are on the inside as well there. At the back, you'll see the ventilation panels here, which is ideal for when you're hanging any clothing in there, or even if you want to use this as a food storage cupboard, that just allows the air to circulate. Obviously, the, zip, the doors can be either zipped fully closed or they can be rolled open and velcroed uh, in that position as well. In terms of construction, the fabric is a really good quality heavy duty polyester material and uh, that's going to last a good long time. We're using heavy duty outwell zips on the doors as well. And then the frame is made from a lightweight but very strong aluminium material uh, and that ensures that it packs down nice and small and that it's uh, relatively lightweight as well. So that is all the features of our Martinique cupboard. Thank you very much for watching.